Another nice feature of Excel tables is to be able to filter the data based on a criteria. You can specify a criteria from the column header pop-up menu. Notice that with my data here on the screen, let's say I wanted to find all the North Division product sales within this data. I can do that by applying a filter. If I click the column header pop-up menu, button, the little down arrow here. I can then come down here and either filter by color based on the table format that was applied to my table, or I can filter by text filters and choose only the North Division. So I'll turn off Select All and then reselect the North Division option. And when I say OK, this will filter out everything but the North Division column labels and the associated row with that column label, keeping the data intact. Now to cause this to go back to display all of your data within the table, again you choose the pop-up menu and choose Select All and everything will now reappear. Also note that you can filter based on a set criteria. So let's say that I want to find all the products that were sold after the 15th of January. I'll go ahead and click the pop-up menu by my date header and come here to date filters. And I want to do after. And I'll go ahead and type in after 1-15 07. And when I say OK to this, it will filter out all the data showing just the data that is after the 15th of January. And again, to get your data back, you need to just come here and choose 2007 and all of your data will reappear. So it's quite a powerful data management tool to be able to filter your table data based on a set criteria. Let's go ahead and apply this to our sales monthly workbook. And since we've already created our table, we can go ahead and do some filters. Let's find all the quantities that were under 5. So we'll come over here to our quantity column, select the pop-up menu, Let's go ahead and set a numbers filter that is less than 6. So we'll type in the number 6 and then say OK. And notice that Excel will pull up all the products that sold a quantity less than 6 or 5 and under in your table. Go ahead and cause your data to reappear by again coming to this pop-up menu select it and choose select all and notice that all of your data now reappears within your table. Take a moment and try doing some other filters based on sales or the unit cost or even by product and play around with the filter capabilities that are available to you once you convert your data to a table. When you are through, please move on to the next movie.